saying goes, home is where the heart is. Many people will live in the same house for 30, 40, or more years, and that's where your kids grew up. So, you know, there's lots of memories that are made there. For sure. So it's no surprise that so many seniors want to age in their own place and stay in their own home. And joining us now is Sean Flanick. He's with Walking Tubs of Wisconsin with ways to help keep seniors at home and help their mobility as well. Nice to have you here. Thanks for having You've me. You've been on the, the show before. Um, we've talked in about Walking Tubs and all the different services and options that you have. Mm -hmm. Why did you start it? Where did the idea come from? Uh, well, basically, you know, we've all got a grandma or grandpa or somebody who's having struggles and, you know, we looked around to try to find someone to help with that kind of stuff and we really couldn't find anyone that was local in Wisconsin taking care of people and we decided that we would try to fill that gap for people. That's I think nice. that's great. What, yeah. what makes you different? Because there are other companies out there that do similar things, mm -hmm. but what makes you so unique? You know, the fact that we're local and mm -hmm. we're actual Wisconsin people taking care of Wisconsin people. There's other companies out there, national brands, and they're kind of just, you know, coming in and they're trying to make a big sale right away and they're high pressure. And, you know, I'm the exact opposite. I come in there, I'm actually listening to the people, find out what they need, and then kind of help them go along the path to finding what works best for them. Well, mm -hmm. I think listening is the key to something yeah. like this. Describe the project that we're looking here, um, the before pictures and then the after pictures. Mm -hmm. uh, this one, there was a, it was a nice big oversized tub in a newer condo, and the gentleman whose condo it was, he was 85 years old. There was just no way he was able to get in, and if he was in, there was no way he, he was able to get back out, so we replaced it with a walk-in bathtub with a door. There's a seat in the tub, a grab bar, a handheld shower wand, and it's much easier and safer for the bather to get in and out of the tub that mm -hmm. way. Yeah, I like that. I, I like the fact that it's easier, it's safer, it, mm -hmm. it looks nice. Oh, yeah, it looks And beautiful. you can do so many different modifications. We've heard the term aging in place, mm -hmm. and it's kind of becoming more and more popular. What does that mean, and what does that mean for you as a business? Yeah, for me, it really means, you know, we want to do everything we can to try to keep people in their home. You know, I, I go to a lot of homes, two or three ho houses a day, and rarely do I have anyone say, I want to leave and go to assisted living or yeah. a nursing home. Everyone wants to stay where they are and it's really my job to go in and kind of figure out what their ailments are and where they're having trouble and then come up with a solution to help them stay in their house. What are some of the different options as you look at someone's bathroom, yeah. their shower area or tub area, what are some of the th different things you can do to accommodate it um, in the space that they have mm -hmm. but also make it easier for them to bathe? You know it's basically boils down to about three different options. There's a walk-in bathtub, a walk-in shower or a modification of the tub that they have in the in the home already. Another big one is just getting grab bars and stuff in place so that they can hang on and that they feel steady and safe as they're entering and leaving the slippery area. There's a tall wall on the tub obviously and you know the main goal is you know what what makes it easier for them to get in their own bathtub not just trying to cram one solution on every person. Yeah, preventing that fall is what's That's so important. That's the main thing, right? the main thing, being proactive. You yeah. know, you want to you want to set up the system so that it's in place before you have a fall, you know, after it's kind of too late to yeah. go through. What, what about someone who has a very limited budget? Because there are people who will say, that, that sounds great, but I just, I really don't have a lot of money, but I need to be safer in mm -hmm. my bathroom. That's one of the areas that I really specialize in is I come in and I try to work with them on whatever their budget is. You know, there's houses I went into and all we did was install grab bars. Yeah. Uh, you know, something as easy as that, but we try to, you know, make something for every budget. So whatever it is that you're looking for, we can try and help you get that in there. What mm -hmm. does it cost just for the consultation? The consultation is a $99 value, but I do provide it as a free service for people. So it doesn't cost anything to give me a call. I'll come out, I'll take a look at your uh, area, and you tell me kind of what you were thinking, and then I'll work with you to figure out what would work the best. Are, there, are you able to work with almost any space? Almost any space, yeah. I've seen, you know, very small bathrooms, and there's always a solution that we can come up with to make it safer and easier for the person in their house, for sure. And how long does it usually take to, especially if you're converting someone's existing tub? Uh, the conversion of the existing tub is generally four to five hours, depending on the tub and what the material it's made out of. So mm -hmm. it's not like we're in there all day long or anything. We're in and out and make it safer, and then they're right back to using their bathroom like they want to. So. Mm -hmm. Well, I think so many people who've, you know, maybe moved in, like, downsized into a condo or something, a lot of those tubs that they get just that come in a condo, right. they're so high-lipped. They really I mean, are. they're hard for me to get into. Uh, I <laughs> you agree, know? I, I mean, agree, yeah. I, I feel like for anybody, they're difficult to kind of get into with slippery floors. So I, I can even imagine just converting like we're looking at here mm -hmm. can be such a great option for so many people. Absolutely. That that wall height's generally 14, 16, yeah. or even up to 18 inches high. So that's, Why do they do that? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it looks pretty, but yeah. it's so well, impractical. Well, they're trying to make it deep enough so you can sit in it, but what I find I is most people that I talk to, 
to say once I sat in there, I would never get back up anyway. So yeah. it's kind of pointless for them at that point. Yeah, that's a problem for sure. Yeah. Right mm -hmm. now, if people schedule a tub, a shower, um, or a tub conversion mm -hmm. installation before the end of the year, end of the year, you offer them fifty dollars to five hundred dollars in gas or groceries, and they can have yeah. their choice of gas or groceries. Correct. Right? Absolutely. Yep. That's and fantastic. Thank you during the holiday season to people. Yep, I'm offering them something that they can actually use. Yep. I think that's it's really nice. neat. So depending on the cost of their project, that's how you determine the yep, amount exactly. that they get in a gift certificate mm -hmm. toward gas or groceries. You can find out more about Walk-In Tubs of Wisconsin by visiting their website. It's walkintubsofwisconsin.com or calling 262-443- 3950 and usually it's you that You're people see call right they talk to me and i'll come out and take a look and we'll work together on it absolutely it's fantastic good yeah. to see you sean happy thanks, holidays yeah, you too thanks